Hello, this is Daryl with Roanoke Hobby. My amateur radio call sign is Kilo India 4 Lima Lima Alpha KI4LLA. And we're looking at a Quan Sheng UV50R handheld transceiver. Um, this radio uh, sells on Amazon for around $25. And it's, uh, it's a very capable little uh, transceiver for getting on the amateur radio uh, 2 meters and 77, 70 centimeters. Um, you can get, you can download the programming software from the company's website and buy a programming cable. But today we're going to look at how easy it is to just program in the repeaters um, from the uh, keypad. So we're going to go ahead and power it on here. And um, it'll come from the factory with a few um, frequencies already programmed into memory. So you'll probably want to go ahead and delete those out and then program in your own uh, frequencies for your local repeaters. So to do that, you'll just go into the menu and get to where I can see it here on the screen. There we go. Um, first thing, like I said, you probably will want to delete out the default frequencies that were put in there. So we're going to go switch to VFO mode, which is, uh, they call it frequency mode. And it's just not going to cooperate with me very well as far as the camera is concerned. But um, go into menu 28. And hopefully I can show it here. Delete, delete channels and... Uh, you'll want to scroll through and uh, delete each of the channels you don't want. There we go. And you do so by, um, once you've hit menu, you went to 27, you hit menu again, And the arrow now is here in the bottom. And then if you uh, hit menu one more time, it'll delete that channel. And so you can go scroll through the different channels that are already in there and delete them all out so you can put in your own. Okay, so once, once you've done all that, you've deleted out the, um, the factory frequencies. Now you're, it's time to put in your own. And um, we're in VFO mode. The A, B button lets you select the top and the bottom. And you can see the arrow switching between the two. And you want to be on the top bank here. Because this, this is where you program in from the top. And so we're going to go ahead and put in, we're going to put in um, one VHF and one UHF, one two meter, one seven, 77 centimeter free, um, repeater in. So I'm going to punch in the first one that I want to do. We're going to do 147.075. There we go. That's going to be our receive frequency. And you also want to make sure you go menu 7. You want this, the TDR to be off. And this is uh, it's dual receive between the two banks. While you're programming, you want to turn that off. So menu 7. And then you hit menu again. And you use the arrow buttons to 
switch between on and off. Turn it back off and then hit menu the th third time and then it stores that setting. And I'm really sorry about the, the camera not picking it up very well. So, all right, so that's off. All right, so now the next thing we want to do is uh, menu 13, which is we're going to put in our tone because most repeaters require um, a PL tone or CTCSS to be entered in. So menu 13, I'm going to hit menu again, and then it's going to put the arrow down here so I put in the, the value. And this particular repeater needs 131.8 hertz for the tone. So we've already got it in there, but you could um, punch it in 131.8. And then hit menu to save it and then it will be you'll put that value in all right so then the next thing we need to do is put in the um, the offset so offset on the repeaters is the it's going to have the receiver the receive frequency and the uh, transmit frequency are um, offset and you can look at repeater book or the local uh, amateur radio club usually has a listing of local repeaters. You'll find out for the repeater if the uh, if the offset is minus plus or minus from the re receive frequency. So to set the shift for our offset, it's going to be menu 25, and then you hit menu so that you enter in that value all right and and just so happens i need plus for my shift so but you could hit the up and down down arrows to change that to plus minus or off they're set to off hit one more time it's going to go back to plus there we go and then hit menu the third time to save that. So we have the shift, the direction is gonna go, and then um, menu 26 is gonna be the offset value. And for um, two meters, VHF is gonna be the 00. 0. 0.600, so that's 600 kilohertz offset. And you can also see it on the display that the offset is set at plus because you see it there on the display. And then, the, so you've got the uh, receive frequency, you've got your transmit frequency shift plus or minus, you've got your your PL tone, your CT, CSS. You got it all in here so now you're ready to save it in to into memory and that's going to be menu 27 and you use the arrow key oops menu 27 and then hit menu so you can select and get it where you can see it here. I'm just going to use the arrow keys to go to the next open memory. So that, that one's already programmed. The next open one's going to be 11. I'm going to hit menu one more time to save that. And then hit exit. And now I want to confirm that I've actually got that in the memory. So I'm going to hit the VFO, mem the frequency mode and memory mode. And I'll let it get where you can see it. So now you can see in memory slot 11, I've got the new frequency put in. And you can use the arrow key then to scroll through what's programmed in. And there's somebody talking on that repeater. 
Okay, so we're just going to do it one more time a little bit faster and this time we're going to do a UHF or a 77 centimeters. So because I'll have to change, I'll have to change a few of the settings. So we, we went back to frequency mode. We're on the top bank there. So we're going to have punch in our frequency for the repeater. 44100. Okay. And the uh, we'd go through the steps then. We'd go menu 13 to, do, to get to the CT CSS. Uh, it just so happens, I, it also needs to be 131.8, so we're good there. And then we're going to go, now this is UHF, so the shift and the offset is going to be different. So we're going to go to menu 25. Well, and it just so happens, I do need the offset shift to be plus. But again, we could change it there by hitting the menu key and then changing that value. And then we're going to do menu 26. Which is now this is what we're going to have to change for UHF because we need that offset frequency to be uh, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, so it'd be five megahertz. So we hit menu, so we go into that value and zero five zero zero zero, and then hit menu one more time to say it, save it, and so now our offset is set at the five megahertz. So we're good there. And now we just need to go ahead and store the frequency in the memory. So we're going to hit menu 27. Hit menu button again to go down to the bottom. And then we're going to scroll through until we get to the next open one. Which, if you knew it was 12, you could have gone, went ahead and punched in 12. But 12 is going to be the next memory hit menu to save it and then exit and now go back to memory mode and we'll see that we've got our new repeater in the in the slot number 12. So I'll put the uh, steps in the comments so that you can um, see it but that's basically it that's uh, that's how easy it is to program in your repeaters here um, for uh, re, uh, your frequencies, offset and uh, shift, and your uh, your PL tones. And the last thing I'll just mention, if you just want to operate on simplex, just go to um, frequency mode, turn off the CTSS, and turn off the shift and the offset because you don't need it. Turn those off and then punch in your simplex frequency and you could operate from from here from frequency mode or go ahead and store your simplex frequency into memory so that's it that's how easy it is to program this uh quan Cheng uv 50r from the keypad like i said it's uh is a great little radio um uh, sells for around 25 dollars and um that is going to be it for today. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you found the video to be useful, uh, uh, like the uh, video and subscribe if you feel you like you like to uh, see the new videos coming out. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time.